Well, my overall impression is that some of the issues, it took a really long time for him to catch up on. So adequate road funding, proper funding of our schools, it took eight years, really? Um, that's, that's my impression. I'm, I was happy to hear about things like the um, you know, dual enrollment programs, which actually the, the middle college dual enrollment program that he mentioned started in my district. The one that's used as a model is the one that started by Romulus uh, High School. So it was good to hear that. Too bad Romulus didn't get some credit for it. Um, I really wanted to hear more about economic things that affect families. I wanted to hear more about things like earned paid sick leave. I wanted to hear more about things like how are families going to afford childcare so that they can work better jobs. How are we going to ensure that people are working, um, getting into good jobs and being paid fair wages. So those are the things that I was hoping to hear that I didn't hear. I want to hear more about education funding it properly, not just K through 12, but also early childhood, which was great to hear that he mentioned that, but we need to make sure that every single child who needs it has access to it. So not just some kids, but that all of our kids who need it have access to it and that it's affordable for them and their families. So, um, you know, we need to really invest in that from early childhood all the way up through post-secondary school. That's what I want to hear and that's what I want to see, not only as a member of the legislature, but as a parent, as a taxpayer in this state. I think that we need to invest in education much more broadly. And I hope that when the budgets go to reconciliation with each other, because you will have the House and the Senate budget, that when they try to pare things down from his budget, that he stands strong. And that he says, no, we're going to invest in education in our kids, our future, the talent, so that our schools are strong and robust.